So we're going to do a quick episode of cooking with Swoo um, tonight with the cauliflower that we just purchased. Um, so I'm not sure what she's going to whip up, but it's a really simple, quick uh, sort of cauliflower dish. What are you, what are you, what are you making with the cauliflower tonight, Swoo? Um, ooh. so we're going to try and make in kind of a different version of the buffalo wings that uh, have been going around recently. Um, we saw it. Our friend made some for a party, and we've, I've seen it on online quite a bit. Um, we're in a hurry though, so instead of baking it, we're going to steam it and see how that goes. Speed washing. Mm. Speed cutting. Trying not to cut myself at the same time. So we're going for a dinner with my parents. They told us to be there in like five minutes. So I don't know if we'll be quite that quick, but we'll try our best day. Okay, so we're chopping up the cauliflower quick as we can. People kind of throw away the stalks. I don't mind them though, so I'm going to keep them in there. You know, whatever. Nutrition. People get funny about the bits of vegetables that I'll eat and stuff, like, you know, it's all good. It's all good, like, got a broccoli, the stalks aren't going to kill anyone, are they? I don't think so, no. I mean, you don't want to be chucking, like, chewy carrot tops in there or anything, but, you know, a bit of collie stalk never hurt nobody. I'm a woman, so I'm going to show off my multitasking talent. I'm cutting this while I'm turning that kettle on. Now, if you're a man, don't try that at home. You might get, might get injured. Because only a woman can multitask. That's a lot of cauliflower. Okay, so let's put a bit of extra flavour in here. The thing with baking it is you just bake it plain, but I figure if we boil it, we can kind of get a bit more flavour in there. So I've got some uh, curry powder. You know what? I've been feeling a bit off and I just realised I forgot my apron. Never ever cook without an apron. Alright. Uh, paprika, what do you reckon? Paprika is over here. A bit of paprika. Beautiful. Yeah. More! No, no more. No more. Don't be silly, Donovan. What else have we got? Chili? Just a little. Just a little. I find that uh, sweet can be a bit light on the spices from time to time, but... I'm cooking for my family and they don't like spices much. A little sprinkle of salt in there. I broke the salt shaker last night, so... I'm kind of just using... Um, the whole Himalayan salt. A little bit of water, not too much though, because we don't want them like soggy, do we? Alright, uh, we don't have a lid for this, so we just put a plate on here. We need to make like some kind of a barbecue sauce. We're both uh, meant to be sugar free at the moment. Getting rid of a thing that doesn't really exist apparently, but um, candida, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Um, it loves sugar, so we're just starving it for a little while. Tomato paste. But of that, we're going to want to make enough sauce to kind of cover smoky paprika, I think. Lots. Oh god! Also, we'll put a bit of macadamia nut butter in there. Mm, yeah, if you've got a good blender. Try it out. All you do is chuck some macadamias in there and whiz them for a very long time. As a sweetener, we're going to use a tiddly tad of apple syrup. It's, um, yeah, pretty much as it seems, this, all the sweetness kind of condensed out of the apples. It's pretty genius, really. A little bit of tamari. Tamari is like pretty much a soy sauce, except it's free from 
the hard gluten, the evil gluten. Just a little bit of apple sauce. There. It's not, that was just a bit of um, a bushy vinegar to, um, what do they call it? And layers of subtle complexity. And we'll mix that up. They are going a nice yellow, which is what I'd hope. It's what I'd hope for, the best possible outcome, really. I just want more. Donovan's not looking. I'm going to put a bit more apple syrup in. Just a little bit. I don't know, I thought I kind of needed it. <laughs> right, so that's come out a beautiful yellow, and it's soft, um, but still a little bit crunchy. I don't like my cauliflower super soft. So that's taken 10, 10 minutes. There we go. Look at that for timing. So I'm going to stick on my homemade uh, barbecue sauce alternative. Even my mum will be able to eat this and she's like a health fanatic. Which is good. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually delicious. It's amazing. This whole dish, this whole vegan, beautiful vegan, nutritional, whole food dish is made with one vegetable really. I mean there's a bit of tomato paste but that's one cauliflower and it's beautiful. Very quick and easy. If you want to take them to a party as finger foods I'd definitely recommend baking them but this is a quick easy alternative way of doing it and the flavour I honestly think is probably better because we've cooked them in those spices and salt and whatnot. So Let's uh, leave the mess and go down to the party. Chef Sue's here. Yeah. Oh, Everyone. More food. Yeah. How's it going, Jacob? Uh, good, man. I just mixed up all the food instead of having soup in one bowl and separating everything. <laughs> you I just put it Gangster. All in we'll just uh, finish filming an episode of Cooking with Swoo. Mmm. Um, like a one vegetable dish with yeah. the broccoli wings. Yeah. One vegetable dish. Yeah, nice. yeah. Dish of the day. You got that here. Check out our. It's show. a hit. It's a hit. What do you what do you reckon of the um, cauliflower journey? It's a hit. Beautiful. Yep. Is it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That's a what do you think of all my cooking journey? Beautiful. Yeah. It's another episode of Cooking with Swoo.